Brown, brown guy with tattoos. I think I'm covered. We're looking, we're looking for a brown guy with tattoos. Perfect. Is that the have. AK day? That was the AK oh, day. So, AK so day. J- chest blasted? Chest. <laughs> he just won. How about this? We'll get something for the listeners. All right. Okay. Dude, if people understood that they can get slapped at any fucking point in time, they would legitimately shut the fuck up. Fucking take the labels off of this shit. They want to drink the bleach, drink the bleach. So, day, day drinking. And then, and, and I was like. Motherfucker. It's 11 o'clock. 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 It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I was like, yes. Now it's time for me to talk about Blood Day. Why the fuck were you guys talking about that before the fucking episode? Hashtag Blood Day. So awesome. Welcome to the Covert Standard. What's going on, people? Thank you for tuning in to the Covert Standard. That's right. This is Nitro Panda coming to you again here live on the interwebs. I just want to go ahead and start off with our sponsors. Get that knocked out of the way uh, because we still have people that, for whatever reason, believe in us still. And uh, I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> our first our first sponsor, uh, top of the show, you guys always hear it, is Cabal USA. That's Cabal USA at CabalUSA.co. Remember, it's not .com. You can go there for all types of stuff. He has all the right gear because you must have the right gear. If you want hats, T-shirts, stickers, mugs, he's got it all, including badass motherfucking holsters. And if you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram account and everybody else's Instagram account in here, we've been rocking those holsters. And um, <clears throat> we, me and Dylan actually just uh, shot a two-gun match. And I was actually rocking the Cabal USA holster on my rig. So if you guys want to pay attention to that a little bit, I'll be dropping videos here soon. Um, Yeah, you'll be able to see me uh, rock that. So you can go there and get uh, holsters for uh, most Glock Glock 9mm and Glock 40 platforms, uh, including the long slide versions because it's open-faced as well. So you can go ahead and have the 34 or 35. What about the 357 SIGs? Or the crappy 357 <laughs> Sigs, you can you can rock them in there as well. Best cartridge ever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, he has the Sig P365 holsters on there, and also the Sig P320 holster. So, if you want to go to get a holster for your gun, uh, and you want to have the right gear, go and check them out. And for being a listener, you can also use the promo code Covert Standard on checkout, and you'll be able to get fifteen percent off of your order. That's one five. In case you guys can't understand my. Annunciation. That's does, me. Does That's he have, definitely me. Does he have uh, 365 XL holsters yet? Since it's, it's open face, so I'm assuming that it would fit, right? Yeah, it's open face, and you can even have uh, threaded barrels on that bitch. Look at that a little threaded barrel so, on it, like all Dude, the inside the waistband. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Who makes the the 365 compensator? That's what I want. to know. Somebody will. Somebody. Will I'm pretty sure I want to run those fucking there. 15 round magazines out of that fucking. Thing. I do too. That'll be awesome. I do too. You guys ended up buying some? No, I did not. No, I don't have money, but still, <laughs> oh, I think it would be awesome, bro. I, I posted it. Up. I know it like, was like under thirty bucks. Second, all right, second finding all the finding all the da- uh, the deals of the day. Yeah, is what, Dave's is what been just posting up all kinds of deals. Hell yeah! Follow me, Cabal USA. Second, 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 <laughs> second sponsor. Anyway, um, okay. we have a second sponsor right. who who uh, who helps us out with the show as well. That's iView Marketing. You go to iViewMarketing.com. It's your number one stop shop for all print management services. And you can get, as D says it, shit printed on shit. Yeah. Okay. So, Nailed Dylan, it. do you remember Harry Potter? Um, <laughs> Harry Potter? The, which gonna, one? the gonna... first one, I <laughs> believe, right. where he had the Voldemort oh, on definitely. the back of his head. Yes, definitely. The, the first one where the, he, like, the, the dark arts guy had like yes. the, the wrap around his head yes. the whole time. And, and then it, it was it talking to him and all that type of shit. Show him to me. That one. So, Frederick, oh, let's hear about your Voldemort. Did he, did he sound like a 95-year-old woman? That... <laughs> Show him to to me, sweetheart. Whoa. Let me see him. Let's let's hear your It reminds me of... um, Oh, see? Now he did. It it reminds me of Adam Sandler when he had the... The the cock and balls. (laughs) Show me your cock and ball. Yeah, it was pretty funny. No. No. Yes. Voldemort. Yes. So I went to the fucking hospital. <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it talk to you? That's what I want to know. It does not did, talk to you. Did it talk to it you before? Not he killed it. You he killed it. it. I killed he it. Killed it's, it's already killed it. It's already dying. To kill it. It's, it's did it, withering did it away. Did it attack you afterwards like it, it did in the movie? Tried like it tried to take over my body. Away and... It did try to take over my body. Did you have conversations with it? Um, I, I have been drunk a few times. It, it uh, seems It seems like it was making decisions for you, too. A few times, me. It, it, it has not been making decisions for me, but... Um, it impeded... It definitely, it definitely made me go to the hospital, uh, for sure. So I went to the hospital. These dickheads want to get. <laughs> so, so to translate for the listeners, because this has got to be terribly confusing for people yeah. that weren't in the room for the last fifteen minutes before we were recording. Uh, poor Fred had like some kind of thing that started <laughs> swelling up on the back of his head, it and whether it's head. ingrown 
hair or whatever it was. It just it Nobody got infected knows. and then just started it blowing up. It just got really big uh, to like palm size big. It's about the only yeah, big thing on palm size. Them. I think yeah. the best way for me to explain it would be like a, a, a saucer, like a teacup saucer. Was about as big as it got on the back of my head. I saw. I mean, that's, right? that's pretty inflamed. That's a, it, it, so basically, uh, it was either an ingrown hair or something like that. I, you know, this explicit gross Voldemort. stuff we're about to talk Who about. Knows? Voldemort <laughs> taking over my body. Um, and it got it's the Horcrux. <laughs> and it got infected, and it got solid, and it ended up having like some weird shit like coming out of it. It was and ejaculating everywhere. Of course, I'm like most people. They were like, ah, oh, fuck that. I could, you know, handle this and be a man about it and just, you know, just all I have to do is sleep it off, right? <clears throat> alcohol kills everything. No. Um, it, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it does. It got to the point where it was unbearable. And I ended up going up to one of their urgent cares and everything like that to get it taken care of. And I was expecting them to just cut it open. I, I, I've seen this procedure happen before. Dr. Um, Pimple Popper. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Dr. Pimple, Pimple Popper. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Once you does, start watching those, you just hook. You, get, it, you yeah. get addicted. Oh, like, oh it's God, so yeah. gross. There's they, something about watching pimples getting popped that you just can't help it, right? I fucking love it. I don't know why. Don't they have like a game of like Pimple Popper or something? That's an actual TV show. show. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think a, it's a show now. She has a full-fledged TV uh, show. She makes buku dollars for doing shit that like my ex-girlfriends would do. You know, Whoa. she she uh, she would actually record the whole thing and, and the patients would get this treated for free. That's how the deal was. Yeah. Like, if you let me record, I'll take care of this Why? for free. Isn't that crazy? And then everybody's like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, please do, do this now. Do this Dude, now. And some of these people come Why up there with some really weird things. Why do you know that? <laughs> I, yeah. I was really stuck Why do you into know that. that. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I almost watched Anyways, all the fucking we're videos. Go ahead. So, so uh, Horcrux. Go to the doctor. <laughs> so I'm in the doctor's and I'm sitting down. And I tell the You're doctor, I, I, I explain to the doctor, I explain, I explain to the doctor um, that, you know, what's going on. So she takes a look at it and she's like, oh, now when did a doctor, she, did she say when that? It, when a doctor looks what at was, something and it makes a, a noise, was that's it, how it was you know girl? it's bad. It was a girl. It was a girl. It was a female doctor. And yes. she said, oh, Ooh. yeah, Ooh. bro, Ooh. you fucked up. So, it, well, it's, it's funny because if was you hear a doctor, you dropped your pants. No, this is not happening. Yeah, it definitely would not be. <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely, would de- not. definitely did not drop my pants just yet. Um, and she looks at it and goes, oh. And when you hear a professional go, oh, like that's that's how you know it's bad. <gasps> Voldemort, I found you. <laughs> that's how you know it's bad. So she looks at it. She's like, oh, yeah, that's really infected. And I was like, oh, thanks. Really infected. Yeah, <laughs> just, you know, as, as opposed to just infected, we're going to go ahead and say it's really infected. Uh, so I got teeth on the back of my head. All right, cool. It's Let's about go. to eat your fucking hands. Anyway, um. So she's like, all right, cool. So we can't cut up, cut it open because where it's located to the base of your skull and there's a lot of nerve endings there. And normally they would cut it open. But if it gets to the point where they can't really cure it, uh, they're going to have to do it, which they have to get a general surgeon to do it. The nurse or the doctor can't do it. They have to actually get a professional to do it, whatever. And Someone with better insurance. <laughs> somebody, somebody with better insurance. <laughs> yes. So I was like, cool. Well, then how am I going to cure this? She's like, don't worry. We're going to administer antibiotics right now. So we have to get it into your system right now. And then we're going to put you on an oral um, antibiotic and then hopefully it'll go away or, it'll go away, or at least um, cease to exist. Right. So Giggity. she she goes, we're going to have to administer it right away. And I said, OK, cool. Give me the pills and I'll take them right now. And she's like, oh, no, this is not dun, dun, dun. administered. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. This is not administered by by oral. This is something that we're going to have to use. We're to give you a needle. And I was like, OK, that's fine. Whatever. She's like, I got this Come in on. your thigh. Well, why would you like <laughs> she said thigh? I go. Yeah, like in my quads. Or, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like thigh. Like, I was like, <laughs> like like these things. Like I'm flexing right now. Yeah, like, those, yeah those those thighs. No, where, what thigh? She goes. She goes thigh. And I go. You mean my ass cheeks? And she goes. Like she rolled her eyes. Like that. I said ass cheeks. She's like, yes, your butt cheeks. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and she like looks at me. And I was like, I remember this. You see, back in boot camp, they give us the peanut butter shot. We call it the peanut butter shot. And they stick it in your fucking ass oh, cheek. God, it just burns. They squeeze it in there. It's so fucking thick. It creates a uh, knot in your ass cheek. And then you got to sit down and roll around with it. And then, like, the next day, there's a funny story about that, actually. Um, you lose feeling in your entire leg. Oh, my God. Are you for real? I'm, I'm completely Bro, for real. There, so there's terrible. a trick. There's a trick. I didn't get any of that shit. Oh. I, the I, trick I, is you say you're allergic to it. You don't have to get it. <laughs> I said... <laughs> I, you fucking, I fucking knew what it was, and I saw all the pain that everybody was going through, and I'm like, I'm allergic to penicillin. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> Are you allergic? Like, Are you really allergic? No. You're no. I, I don't, no, need, I don't no, know. I have no, no idea. He's not. He doesn't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't I know that I'm not allergic to penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> but I straight up said that, and the doctor's like, how the fuck do you know? Like, 
Like, <sighs> what happened? I'm like, no, it's just I was told that I'm allergic to penicillin. So he's like, ah, oh, all right, go to the other room. <laughs> and you didn't have to get <laughs> no, it, you dude, motherfucker. I'm seeing everybody walking like they got fucked in the ass or something. You're, walking, like, you're walking out like a fucking doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiots. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in boot camp, the next day after I got the peanut butter shot in my ass cheek, um, I'm at... I'm on the top rack. We have racks, right? It's bottom, you know, bump beds. Yep. I'm on the top rack. And if you've seen any movie military wise of them getting woken up or waking, woken, woken up, woke, woken, woken, woken. Okay. Um, Being woke Uh, up in the morning, it's hectic. uh, Lights start flashing and they start screaming. Reveille. Christopher Walker. They start yelling at you. They start telling you to get the fuck online. You're like panicked when you wake up in the morning every time. I panicked. And I do just like I do every morning. I jump out of bed, land, go to the line. There's a line you have to stand in front of, and you have to hold out your hands to get counted. What? Yeah. It's, it's a boot camp thing in MC World. Um, so I jumped out of yep. bed, and Bitch. I did not feel my leg Bitch. at all underneath me. It was just my just one leg. And I fucking fell hard, straight face planted on the fucking ground from the second rack. And straight then to push They count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And when they say 1, you say, done, sir, done. Everybody's online except for me. And I'm, there's a gap right there. So the drill instructors all come out running. Who the fuck is not in my goddamn line right now? Oh, oh, I start screaming. I'm on the ground in like this position <laughs> where like I look like you can chalk outline me. And I look like a dead body in any, in any mystery crime show. <laughs> And he goes, "What? Why aren't you online?" Blah, blah, blah. And as soon as they start talking to you, you gotta you gotta answer the fucking question. So right. I'm like, I'm like, "Sir, this recruit can't feel his ass cheek, sir." <laughs> and he and he did one of those where he held his cover down to hide his face and started laughing, and then told me to get the fuck up and get back online. So I limped to line. So anyway, back reversing back to the me. <laughs> What the fuck? That's Back a real. This is all true day. story. People touched me on my butt last night. This, <laughs> this is boot camp in 2005. Okay, this is like a real story that happened to me in boot camp. So anyway, so I, I, that's the memory. If you can imagine that memory in your head, right, of getting yelled at, getting screamed at, and everything like that. And on top of that, the preliminary video that they show you, or was it just? I think it was just a period of instruction. I don't think it was a video. They tell you, do not flex. Your butt cheeks. Your butt cheeks when they insert the needle into the butt cheeks. Because it'll look like your finger afterwards. Because right? it'll look my look like my broken ass <laughs> fucking finger. Uh it'll 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 either bend the needle and they even said it'll break the needle off and the needle will get stuck into your ass cheek and then they have to surgically remove it. Well, the other thing is or a lot of blood. Yes. That, Which is that the was, only thing that, that would, would be the correct <laughs> thing, but yes. No, it's they um, just don't want to they do like that. to go for the terrible. outliner outlier like horror stories uh, yeah. kind of thing. Uh, no. Well, it worked. Buns of steel, <laughs> yeah. bro. It worked. No buns of steel. I've yeah. got, I've got I some know. hams. I've seen it. I've seen um, it jiggle. What? So that, <laughs> that that happened in 2005. <laughs> that, that was date night. Um, that, that, that happened in 2005, right? So here I am. It's 2019. I'm in the fucking doctor's office. I'm just getting told I'm about to get stuck in the ass again by a needle. And I go, fuck, because that's all I could think about is boot camp. That was the last time it happened. And I'm fearful now. So the, so the nurse comes in, I'm telling myself, I'm trying to calm myself down, I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, it's just one needle, it's one needle, I'll get it done, get it over with, and I can get past all this shit. The fucking nurse walks into the fucking room with two fucking syringes, completely full, and just sits it on the fucking table, and she just starts talking to me, okay, sweetheart, we're going ahead and administer these things in your upper thigh. And I was like, ass cheeks. And she, <laughs> I kept correcting them, because I wanted somebody to say, yes, your ass cheeks, that would have been awesome. And I still find Did humor. anybody say gluteus, Macamus? No, nobody no. said gluteus. My, my whole thing is I get humor Boo. out of life, so yeah. I do yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah. I, I was like, I was trying to get Fuck them to say ass yeah. So she puts two syringes, and I go, um, and do I need both of those? Both? Bo- both. 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 Do I need both of them? Do I, do I need <laughs> both of them? Both? B-O-F-A-D-E-M. E-U-F. <laughs> both. <laughs> So both of them, right? Both of them. So I go, do I need both of those? <laughs> See? See? You about to get them bow fangs in your ass, bro. So I had to get so I had to get both of them. Ugh. She goes, Yes, honey, we gotta get you we, we gotta give them both of you, and they're full vials, so it's gonna be a lot. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then no. she's like, one yes, yeah, if you <laughs> <laughs> so um she's like it's one for each uh, butt cheek she said butt cheek i kept trying uh, to say of course it. you did i kept trying to have him say ass cheek they wouldn't do it so um one per ass cheek and i was like fuck all right so i'll get all mentally prepared but inside i'm really like chase that i'm crying on the inside <laughs> i don't want to do this Please. i'm a grown-ass man Please. and a needle getting stuck. 
fucking stuck in my ass cheek is the one thing that's fucking Outside me mad right now. Outside exterior, just like, whatever. Whatever, bro. I got this. I'm hard as fuck. You a bitch. I'm hard as fuck. Fuck that nurse and fuck that doctor. I'll take eight needles in the ass cheek, son. What's up? Like... <laughs> That's yeah, what that went through his head. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what that was. <laughs> Only if we can have a listener to just edit cheeks out. Cheeks. Just, just <laughs> in my ass. I'll have eight switches in my ass. <laughs> well, no need to edit that. So, <laughs> so, so I, I ended up like pulling down my trowel, right? I, I put my arms on the table. I'm grabbing, I, I'm grabbing whatever corner or crevice of the bed that I can so I can squeeze because I'm like, fuck this. You, I didn't, can't. you didn't get her to hold your hand? No. Like, can you hold Damn, my hand? I should have done that. Hold my that, hand, please. That would be really I should have done that. So um, I'm like holding on, and I knew, I told her. myself, don't flex. Don't flex the ass cheek. Don't flex the ass cheek. Grab the fucking bed. Squeeze as hard as you can and use that as your crutch. So she goes, okay, honey. And she like rubs around. She grabs a, an alcohol pad, cleans the area, sque- squeezes my butt cheek. Does, she goes, does she compliment you on your squat game? No, she didn't quite Bro, on my squat okay, game. Get that squat game going. <laughs> right, go you have a nice, you have a nice ass, sir. Uh, it's a nice ass. Why is she jiggling that fucking hand in the air? You cannot see that, but the way he was telling that story, she just had the jiggling his ass, right? I don't think it's his ass that we're talking about now. So, so she grabs my ass cheek, right? And she gives me the whole one, two, three, right? Okay, dear, you ready? She even called me dear. It's weird when people call me dear. Um, she squeezes it and she goes one. Two, right then and there, motherfucker. There was no goddamn three. And no, fucking no. went right no. in. And I just go, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I can tell that everybody, I know that there's people in the waiting room going, oh shit, I shouldn't be here right now. I just started screaming, fuck this, fuck, fuck. And she's like, almost done. She held the fucking, there was so much fluid in the syringe. Well, it's the fucking, and how it, thick it, it is. It doesn't it's go so, fast, it's bro. It's so right, the, thick. Uh, the needle is only so big. Right, so it constricts it. <laughs> so, right, just so quickly you can do so it. So it's like three seconds. Uh, One, two. Did she count to three that three. time? No, that's how long it took. That bitch. One, <laughs> that bitch. One two, three, done. And it was painful. Then she starts Ugh. rubbing it in. Now I'm going to rub it in, dear. And she starts rubbing my ass cheek, trying to get the medicine to kind of spread around my ass cheek. Wax on, wax off shit. Yes, wax on, wax off. She doesn't touch your butthole at this time? Goes to, no. <laughs> goes no. to the... No. She, she may, have spread, no. she may oh, have spread just to kind of air it out and then go Ooh. to the next... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus! Whoa. Like blow on it. She, All right, <laughs> so say she goes. Say goodbye. Say, say hey, no, say go. Bye. So she goes to the next. She goes to the next butt cheek, and then this time she knew I was waiting for the one two. She yeah. knew I was waiting for it. So this motherfucker goes, "Okay, honey, you ready? One." <laughs> oh fuck fuck she knew i was waiting for the count to two so so i was gonna fucking flex she fucking counted one i got one out of three one motherfucker one and the fucking thing gets in there and then she puts a bandage on what each a ass cheek fucking and I sit pro props bro her. yeah pro- bart, props her. round of applause please bart well yeah good good job being a champ <laughs> for the nurse so um i sat down and then i'm thinking it, if you remember from boot camp getting the pe- peanut butter shot we have to do the the nuts of butt <sighs> In a row, it's like a canoe of Marines. Well, uh, Navy in your case, and then everybody sits nuts to butt, and they rock. Or they rock back and forth like like they're on a on a canoe or like in hard water. Navy and didn't do that. We did that. I just let people touch my butt. They helped me massage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Navy guys just kind of massage like, each just other. Help me. Hey, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you look, mind grabbing my ass look, cheek for can me? Can you and massage rubbing my ass that cheek? in? And oh, I'm hard right now. Help me out with that. All right. <laughs> but yeah, don't mind the boner. Can yeah. you just grab no, my no, ass cheek? No, and rub mind it in? the boner. Help me out with that too. <laughs> it's like an assembly line. Everybody got each other yeah, except for the guy in the front. <laughs> like, 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 like you know how you did the runs yeah, back right, in the day? Up. Where yeah. the guy in the back runs to the front, and then the guy in the back runs to the front. It's like that. You're getting your ass massaged by all ten guys while you're going down the fucking line. It felt like, a lot better, bro. <laughs> it, it was it was probably a better fucking uh, uh, process than what I had to fucking go yeah, through. Well, it was definitely a process. It was so teamwork. Sure. So so that's I can only imagine. Close. I'll come up to the end of the story because I know I'm, I'm talking. I, I can go a long time telling a story. So um so I can only imagine there was a camera in the room because after she was done, she was like, okay. She tells me afterwards. Oh, by the way, you you have to stay here for the next twenty to twenty five minutes because we have to make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction. Bitch, <laughs> you're going to fucking give me the medication and then tell me that I have to wait? Why couldn't you tell me that, by the way, we're going to give this to you, then you wait? Motherfucker. So there it's been, already too late. It would have been like double fucking syringe at the same time because it would have been ready to count to three. What? <laughs> Could you yeah. imagine <laughs> that shit happened and she grabbed both of them at the same time and went both? In? Oh, my God. Bruh. Oh, So Got anyway, 
Yeah. Sounds, sounds I, I'm awful. sitting on the edge of the bed. I got my hands between my legs, like really dug deep. <laughs> I'm violated. And, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm rocking back and forth. I can and nobody's in the room, but I can imagine if there was a camera watching me. Violated. I was rocking back and forth, like like if I was like a rape victim, and I just got raped. Like I was just like, oh my god, I can't because, believe this just happened. Because you did. So. The reason why it's called Voldemort is because this growth on the back of my head looks like fucking Voldemort. Bro, the fucking he turned movie. around and it started talking to me. Yeah. Turn, Bring turn me the me. potter. <laughs> turn me around. <laughs> you're not strong enough. You're not, you're not strong so enough. So <laughs> in this podcast, if you randomly hear some little voices, it's... Turn around. Yep. That, that shit. That's creepy, right? Yeah. Yes. Just happened. It's talking. It's talking. Oh, us. fuck, man. It's fucking weird. Yeah, that, so that was my whole adventure. You guys, um, speaking of adventure... Uh, and not really adventure, but um, like things are. that I've been doing. I've been going kind of down some fucking rabbit holes online. I really got to get offline. Oh, shit. <laughs> I like the segue. Uh, I really have to get offline, okay? Because I'm starting to find things that I really don't like. And I know a lot of these things don't have the chance to be published or actually go through. But it's still the, the fact that it's there, it bothers me. And, uh, and I talked about it on my Instagram. And I talked to you guys about it already, too. Is the Florida ballot that's coming oh, up. Oh, you're talking about the amendment? Yes. It pisses and me off. Recon- Constitution yeah. for the state of Florida. Yeah. yeah, constitutional amendment to the state. Yeah, it's fucking weird, but that's how they fucking title shit. Even for fucking the whole nation, anytime that we have oh. to vote up for any new amendments or whatnot, they just title it to where you're like, yeah, I'm I'm for that. You know, VA. Uh, what was the one during uh, the last election? It was about the VA. Oh, uh, yeah. um, they they just worded it where the title made can't it remember, seem. Yeah, it was one thing. But then it's just the complete opposite of it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm for, for the VA. Or they sneak in something else on top of that. So, but if you want to go ahead and, or whoever remembers the exact um, uh, publication of it, because I'm, I'm totally going to fucking botch it up. So, um, I, I don't remember the actual publication number on it. And I, I don't really feel like looking it up right now, to be honest with you. But, um, basically, the way they word it is it's... Do they, you know the website, at least? Yeah, for it's uh, Ballotpedia.org. Ballotpedia.org. And that's for all 50 states. You mm-hmm. just select your state, what they're trying to fucking send out. What are you grinning out? at over there? What is, what is so funny? Testicles are just dick titty. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry. They got me distracted. All right. Ballots and titties. Are what are we talking about right now? Hold on. Talking about getting lost on the internet and needs to be offline. Chase, you need to be offline. You're right. Man. Hold on. No, you right, bro. Testicles are just dick titties. Right. I'm going to start calling them dick titties from right. now on. That's, no, that's amazing. I'm uh, so super it's, proud. It's ballotpedia.org. Yeah, back to serious stuff. Come on, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to some shit. All right, you keep no. talking. It, it's, I'm it's, going to take your phone away. Don't do it. I have two. <laughs> can't take them. Can't take them. So one basically, of them. it is it's uh, Florida's ban on military style firearms and disqualifications for firearm possession initiative for 2020. They want to put this on the ballot. And this is why it pisses me off. I'm, just, I'm not going to go too heavy into it because a lot of people that do follow me on Instagram, I'm not going to, you know, I've, I've already seen this rant already. But I want to make everybody aware, right? All of our listeners are important to us. And I want everybody to be aware, spread the word, because it's not just happening in Florida. Uh, those of you in Kansas are listening to us, it could happen there. Yeah, those of you in California, it's already states. there. Yeah, you know? the red flag states, it's it fucking happening. It's not going to happen in Kansas. I was about to say no. North, Car- <laughs> North <laughs> Carolina it could happen no there. It doesn't, Kansas. Basically, the whole point is, is we all have to stick together because we are all on the same page. We That's are true. American-loving people. Dylan, we're not in Kansas anymore. We're in a battleground state. <laughs> The gun this is a state. this is a battleground state. This is a battleground state. It's purple as fuck. Yep. It's South versus North right now. We right. have our own civil war in Florida. Right. And so this is this is so just like you were saying, Dave, you're absolutely correct. The way they fucking word it is this annoying. Is the titles. It, well, that's all the the ballot or who. How would you word that? The person that's fucking voting, they see titles. That's all. And then they don't read they into expect, it. Well, it's not like they have the opportunity because they fucking hide it. They don't talk about it in the news. You have to go into rabbit holes and well, fucking find it. I mean, people try to promote this shit, whether you agree with it or not. That Some people obviously agree with it. So they try to promote it. It's just no one really gives a fuck. Well, they give you a summary. They give you a summary on the ballot, right? And then right. the way they, they try the to way they up. word the summary and how it's written is like lawyer speak, and it kind of is confusing. Well, in some it ways. can actually be struck down for being too confusing and not clear enough. Actually, that I, can that yeah. can be challenged sure. and then struck down because they didn't word it like sure, straightforward yeah. enough. In in Florida, that's a thing. Or if you're going to put up a ballot initiative, especially a change to our constitution, it has to be written in plain English, and it can actually be challenged if it's not written clear enough. And if a judge determines that's the case. Then they can strike it down, even if it got voted in. 
It just needs to be stroked down because they they don't understand one part of this. I don't think we have that much to worry about because, like we said, it's a battleground state, and they have to get 60% of the vote. Mm -hmm. Uh, But it is frustrating and annoying that they're putting forth such a stupid fucking law. Um, Well, I mean, it's not even a law. It's an amendment to our Constitution saying that we no longer have the right to defend ourselves. Um, If you are— Fuck them. (laughs) Yeah. Pretty much. No, but also uh, talking about no like sniper rifles, taking away the sniper rifles and actually taking away. What's a sniper the, the, rifle? Yeah. What what's is a, a sniper rifle? What's a, a action? What's a military style weapon? Isn't that all weapons? Yeah, they're 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 I'll, trying to I'll classify all all weapons. Yeah, all so weapons. That's pretty much what they're trying to do. They're is trying it, to say the black the seven black rounds weapons or more, or is it seven rounds or less is acceptable? Seven more seven rounds. Hold on, I'll, I'll I'll go over it. Okay. Um. The ballot title for Dave, right? This is exactly what I'm talking about. They literally label it well-regulated militia and firearms. Stop the killing. That doesn't say much. And then when you hear it and you're, or you read it and you're like just a moron, or not a moron, but first time voting, you see that? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm about I'm stopping about the killing. Stopping killing, yeah. Uh, yes. And you that's know? what happens. And it happens. It's going to happen. Yeah. So then here's the summary that will be written. If I'm not mistaken, this will be written in this, as a summary. It's a funky mix. <laughs> it's Dylan's a funky Buddha. Get this yeah. bullshit out of here. Yeah, I, I'm trying to drink a blue moon after I had this funky Buddha margarita ale or margarita goose. Uh and it's really weird. I like it. I know I like the, I like this, but this the switch. The blue moon after that, I feel oh. like I'm drinking spices. <laughs> like it, it cleared <laughs> it cleared your palate. It, it literally it like it like <clears throat> it, it's not like pumpkin spices, but almost like some kind of fucking fall spice. I feel like that's all I taste when I drink a blue moon right now. <laughs> you get the well, real flavor. <laughs> right. I don't know what the fuck my you thoughts no are going crazy though. Dylan just realized blue moon sucks. I was like <laughs> Do I have to drink a Bud Light just to cleanse my palate? That's what that Dylan knew. That might have to happen, dude. Drink a little bit of this uh, fountain water over here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the ballot summary says the, the amendment recognizes the Florida National Guard and other uh, organized police forces as the well-regulated militia. What? What police forces? What police forces? Other organized police forces as mm-hmm. the well-regulated militia of the state and uh, authorizes them to keep and use military-style weapons. Possession of <laughs> military-style <laughs> weapons <laughs> is prohibited yeah. except for the militia. The militia being those two things. I, I really love that that they pretend like it's up to the state of whether the National Guard gets to keep weapons or not. Since the exactly. National Guard is pretty much the army. Exactly. Yeah, the National Guard doesn't <laughs> yeah. exist in how it was yeah. intended initially. They turned that into the army a long fucking time ago. It's yeah, not, they, up they the it's not up to the state whether they, they fucking yeah, get to have a gun yeah. or not. They never got released back to being a their own militia. Says, right. Other they, persons it's government funded now. Other persons convicted of various types of crimes or investigated abuse. About, okay, that's that's no yeah. no brainer, right? Look into it. <clears throat> I, I would just say look that's into a no brainer. Here's what pisses me. I, I just want to get to this part. This is what they wanted to strike out and say they wanted to take it out of the Florida Constitution. Ready? It says they want to X out completely. This is what our Constitution says in Florida. The right of the people to keep and bear arms in defense of themselves and of the lawful authority of the state shall not be infringed, except that the manner of bearing arms may be regulated by law. Now, I'm not going to break this down too much, but it's obvious. We can That's defend ourselves against people. Constitution yes. of the state of Florida. We can, we can defend ourselves against people and the state, period. Now, the point that I wanted to make is it says shall not – be infringed. And then they just, me looking at this, they're like, no, we're just going to exit all out because it doesn't matter. We don't need it. We it, we can infringe it all we fucking yeah, want. We need some like, you know, new solutions with the new technology. Fuck that them. We got. Fuck them. I just wanted to point that out. If, if you guys want to look so at what, this. What does it say? Um, in replacement. I was about to say, what, thank you. Okay. It says uh, the, 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 exactly what I just said right there, the, the ballot summary to make Florida National Guard and police forces the only militia in Florida. They're the only ones allowed to have weapons. Now, military style weapons. Here's what they define as military style weapons. Okay, let's hear this. <clears throat> the, uh, mind mili- boggling. Mili- military style firearms are defined as followed: any gun with a magazine capacity of more than seven rounds of ammunition, or any weapon capable of firing in fully automatic mode. Any weapon capable of being modified in any manner to fire in a fully automatic mode, or any weapon classified as a sniper rifle. 
So sniper rifle doesn't so, exist, so, and <laughs> semi-autos are not able to be converted to full auto. Yes. So basically things that are already there, and sniper rifles, if you're going to classify a sniper rifle, it's technically a rifle with a scope. Uh, so. No, I mean, it's not a clearly defined thing. No, so. it's not a clearly defined thing. Um, no. uh, the, it's, the really, magazine... it's really vague. I think that's that's what it is, But and then they're going to try to fucking hone it in well, after that. But, you know... It, it comes back to what I was saying about the title. The title is really going to. So hold on. My question: yeah, All guns are illegal that carry seven rounds or more. Is that is that what they said in is, the magazine? Yes. Is this fucking New York? It's worse. That's what what they're they trying. Well, they came but down from New York, and now they want to make it New York. Because <laughs> that works out. So my, Southern no. Florida. Fucking a. Here's my question for you. But that's a good. Segue, what does though. this change? What? what does it change? Bro, uh, just gun, get gun good loss. at reloading. Freedom. No, no. What, what does it change? It changes freedom. I'll be I'll be king in 1911s again. Fuck you, bitches! <laughs> <Seven> <laughs> I told you it was a bad seven, guy. Seven, seven, seven round, rounds. Seven round 1911, not the yeah, eight round. Yeah, I got a fucking bunch illegal. of GI mags. <laughs> I got a bunch of GI mags. Yeah, I got um, a few with no 1911. Uh, speaking my 1911 of sniper apart. rifles, everybody that's listening right now, if you hey, got your phone out. M&P Shield? Uh, just Google image, and, and I'm going to pass my phone around because I know you bitches are too lazy here. Uh, a Walther no. WA two thousand. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so it Chase is. knows what I'm talking about. Of Do you course. know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Almost looks like oh, nerd. What the fuck, nerd? Right. <laughs> nerd. They use an equilibrium as a shotgun. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You have to <laughs> they. Uh, it's in a bunch of video games. Mm-hmm. That's really how I knew it. I uh, watched a fucking detailed video about it. You know, there's only there was less than two hundred of those no. made ever. Really? I didn't know it was two hundred. I knew it was fucking like. They didn't make shit of them. I, no, thought, it, nine, I, I thought it was less. $9,000 fucking dollars for one of those when they were new in the 1980s. Nine, 1982 whoa, until 1988. Nine, $9,000 for a new one. And this was back 1980s. in the 80s. Yes. So, so technically it's like a sixteen, seventeen thousand yeah. yeah, dollars $17,000 gun right now? Right. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, pretty fucking crazy. Very, oh, I know this. Very, Pretty amazing. yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why I wanted people to Google image it because, yeah, like, first <laughs> thing I thought it was a dragon. It's in off. so many video games and stuff. No, there's, which no, there is in video games. Yeah, it's just, so crazy to me though that something can I made said second. Oh, something can be made in Listen. such a few amount My bad. My bad. and be still so it's prolific. Iconic. Prolific, I guess. PSG one, HK. PSG one, prolific Metal Gear Solid of sniper rifles. That, and that was a sniper rifle, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, okay. Gear so, what, yes. what does this fucking change, though? My, oh, yeah. my problem that I have Ooh. is that you want to go ahead and make these laws Amazing. for what? It doesn't do a fucking thing Basically, at sni- all. Sniper rifle version of a G3? Kind of, sort of, yes. Yeah. But it doesn't stop you. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, no, I mean it's it doesn't what, stop what, you. it doesn't stop crime. It's not gonna it stop doesn't stop evil. the bad guy. It doesn't stop evil. It doesn't stop mm-hmm. the shooting. You want to change these things for no fucking reason at all. Bruh, they I would mean, like they would like to put innocent people in jail. Uh hence the transition to New York. Um I mean we were kind of there. Fuck it. I we know were there, we but dabbled, I'm so mad. I'm, I'm mad. I'm in my emotions right the, now. Uh <laughs> poor bastard, he is facing prison time yep. because two assailants broke into her ha- to his house looking to do him harm. He used a Rossi revolver in his defense of his own life. Left-handed. Um, ha! 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 <laughs> char- char- ah, it's on your chest! No, That's sorry. charter arms. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. We, we, said, we said Rossi over here. Rossi. Sorry. Get it right, it, bitch. <laughs> and so... That was Voldemort saying it. He yeah. is facing Get prison right, time bitch. because the gun was last registered to his father, and his father died, and he kept it, but he forgot to go register it to him in his name. New York. So even though he legally defended Inherited. his own yeah. life, he used it with an illegal gun, and so now he's looking at prison time. Yeah. And um, how old is this guy? Because he looks pretty old, man. I mean, in his fifties or sixties. I think sixties. He looked pretty rough. I think like, I think it's fifties, but I think it's late fifties. But he does look like he's it, older. Yeah. Like in my opinion, he would have got his fucking ass kicked if he didn't have that gun. He probably could have died. Right. Right. So it's pretty fucked up that the state and a judge can just look at him and be like, hey, look. This- well, he hasn't been convicted yet, has he? New I think he's just, York. I think he's facing charges. He's facing the charges, but the fact that the state is, is prosecuting? Pro- prosecuting. Yeah, no, it's bad. Instead of just saying, hey, we should probably fucking drop this because and it's common sense. Hopefully a judge you know? and a jury will see that and, and that, stop it. That's what it usually will probably I come hope. to. I fucking hope so. But, but it's it New does York. come down to, you know, when you talk about yeah. these registration laws, like what? 
value do they bring to the table? It's not really a whole lot. Like everybody says that it's justification for tracking down criminals, but it doesn't actually work very well. That mm-hmm. way. No, um, um, the yeah. guy who fuck, I I always mispronounce his name. Uh, Colin. Colin Col- Noir. Yeah, Noir. Colin Noir. So Noir. him. Noir. Noir. Um, he posted a breakdown fuck. video about the whole fucking thing, and I actually did a forward uh, thing because this came out what uh, a few days ago. Yeah, something so. He breaks it down, um, and it's just, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. The idea was to fucking try to stop fucking criminals, bad guys, criminals, criminals to yeah. get their hands on it. But gang bangers, what, what are the, they? They break the law, man. They don't follow the law from the from the get go. What makes you think they're gonna fucking do it in the first place? I mean, the- and then this poor guy that inherited the fucking gun, fucking look. He got it from his dad. Didn't think to fucking register it. You know the, what I'm saying? The idea on the policing side of things from these fucking authoritarian pieces of shit. Um, yeah, I'm very like you know politically neutral. I'm so friendly to the other side. Uh, <laughs> you, you don't have to. Re- you don't have to remind. Me, but. Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> always stay. <laughs> always, <He does>. always. <clears throat> Good. He does Just in case there's new listeners. That was, if that was you called didn't know. sarcasm because I'm not. Big. Is that what it is? <laughs> no. All right. Um, yet. Yeah, the the whole idea is that, that well we'll just fucking grab everybody's guns and then sort it out from there. It's kind of like nobody can have guns. It's kind of like certain PDs around here, certain departments have a policy of basically if they don't like the aura you're putting off, you could say the color of your skin, but I would say more of like the you know if you want to pre- present yourself as a fucking thug, whether you're white, brown, black, whatever it is, and they find out you have a gun. They will ask for proof of ownership, which is a ridiculous thing. No one has that on them when they're out and about. And they, whether you have a concealed carry permit or not, <clears throat> proving that you legally can have that gun on your persons, they will take the firearm from the person and say that they need to prove that they legally own it. Wait, what? Yes. When so, is, what? So, I've heard of that being a thing. So they don't actually need to. So don't act like thugs, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Certain departments have made, took the stance that they don't need to prove that the individual is guilty because you know the individual has the presumption of in- innocence, but the property does not have the present. Pre- pre- Presumption of innocence, so that they it's can, fucking property. They can assume <laughs> that the property is stolen. And then pr- put the onus on the owner to go prove that they legally. Own. Okay, so if I drive your that car, is the thing. if keep, I drive your car, keep your receipts. Yeah, keep your on receipts, your persons, b- but not like on your literally persons. Nazi All Germany keeps your papers. <laughs> keep them, <laughs> but <laughs> keeps But papers. here's my here's my follow up question: Like, if I drive your car and I get pulled over, is the first assumption is that I stole the vehicle? Because yes, you're brown. Well, <laughs> yeah. besides the skin color, because what, sir? At sir, night, what else do you sir, have? Tattoos. Sir, I'm gonna are you brown? Have. Are you brown? Can you answer me? And are you brown? No. And no, you have I'm long not. hair? Are you, are you brown? No, I'm not. Do you have tattoos? Yes. And you have long hair? No. And you haven't shaved? I, I, I trimmed. And you're wearing skinny jeans. Jails. And Jail. 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 I just got thick thighs, man. <laughs> <laughs> My legs look good. Uh, so back to the whole fucking no. car thing. No. Shut up! You never no, seen the don't. legs. Just well, take your pants off. Pants, Let's go, man. You're the one with the baggy pants. Okay, so, pants so, so put it because I know what you're going. But to put it another way, this is kind of a known problem, and this goes across the the country. If you have a certain dollar amount in cash on you, oh yeah, that I do know. They'll take it from you, and you they, have to prove that you legally own it. They they have the total mm-hmm. right to steal your shit. Yeah, and, and the worst part back. is like it, we all fucking do it. When you sell a vehicle, you kind of don't write. What you sold the vehicle for, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what you're talking about because that sounds illegal. But <laughs> if, if you were going to go buy a vehicle in cash and you go to your bank and you take out the money and you go there, technically an officer can say, well, even though you have the money in your hand and you have a bank receipt, I don't know that that bank receipt is showing this money. So I'm going to take it and then we'll let the court figure it out. It's definitely something that happens on a regular basis. That really sucks. It does really suck. Well, that's really sad. That's why. That's why. But it all the it call, PayPal all, rules all comes down <laughs> to the departments around you. And I will tell you this: <clears throat> if your sheriff is doing that in your local area, vote him the fuck out. And if your PD is doing it in your local area, make your mayor account for it because the uh, the PD well, is almost directly responsible. Or what do you what do you call it? There's a word I'm looking for. Uh, the PD is is um is selected by the mayor, right? But and it's, the 
There's a word, uh, sheriff's elected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm I'm lacking in my verbiage here. Apparently, this fucking funky Buddha is gay. Funky Buddha <laughs> did fuck with me. Funky, 11, the funky Buddha. Eleven percent beer here. Um, <laughs> that was one word. Did you hear that? Lumber lumber sense. He sounded like you. Lumber sense. Making some shit up. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. I got a I got a real quick just to interject. I got a I got a fan of ours right here talking to us, and he says that's exactly how it works in Portugal. Yeah. That in Portugal you need to have the register. Of uh and number of weapon while you have it, so you have to have the actual documentation while you See, have the gun. Okay, that's fine though because well, as much as it isn't fine, at least that's the fucking law. Like to where like everywhere you know that that's the shit. Like I have a registered SBR or SBS. It's a short barrel shotgun, and I know that if I take that out in public to go to the range, I need to have a copy of my paperwork with mm-hmm. me yep, because that's mine. the fucking rules. That's not the rules here in America for guns. No. It's not. It's not, except for in one city when they decide it just is. Uh, it, that's the frustrating part. That's my rant. I'm done. Are you? I think so. I need to get you more funky Buddha next time. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. That, <laughs> there, what's the word you're looking for? Uh, well, like, okay, L- uh, the, the best sense? way I can equate it to, because my, my vocabulary is sucking. I can't even <laughs> say vocabulary wow. right now. Um, Jesus. Is, it's the equivalent of Need some more. Your, Need mayor, more stats. your mayor gets to be the king of the castle there. He gets to be the king of your little area. So he sets the agenda with your local law enforcement and the police departments. So yes. with the sheriff, you can go straight to the sheriff and make him accountable. If he's being a piece of shit, you vote him out. If your PD is bad, you go to the mayor and hold him accountable. All right? It's a step <clears throat> removed, which sucks, but... If if your mayor is letting that shit go on, get him the fuck out and and make your voice be heard. Like let people know, like hey, this is what this piece of shit's doing. We need him out of there and start a local campaign. Like your your power as uh, an individual citizen in this country is way more multiplied when you're talking about city politics versus you know country politics. What we tend to focus. It, on. it also means more. People don't think that your your voice doesn't mean anything. No, in this country, it's it's built on the people. This is right. run by the people. We elect those fuckers. So if they're not doing what they need to do and, that, and all we're doing is electing them so they can, you know, fucking bully us out of our own fucking freedoms, then we need to get them the fuck out. One voice doesn't really mean shit, but you get a group. My of, fucking group. Voice. A group of people <laughs> That's that why are on the same page, that want the same thing. You get four drunk assholes talking on mics <laughs> and sending it out to the internet. Then all of a sudden they have a tribe. They have a tribe, and we do have a tribe. I mean, these get, everybody's answering. Right. Yeah, we have a tribe. Yep. Tribal. I've, been, I've started right. reading the book Tribe again, so I, I haven't listened oh, to it okay. yet. That's yeah. my bad. That's right. I haven't. I bought it. It's I a quick. Thought, it's a quick book, but it's God. It's a good fucking book. Tribe. Yep. Tribe. Didn't we have like zombies tribe against something or something? Turn me I around. Brought, I brought the See, that shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's creepy. <laughs> I brought some ideas up from that book in the zombies episode because I feel like. He makes some good points of like when societies have outside pressure, they generally surprise people and pull together rather than fall apart. Like most of the time people think that that everyone will fall apart. Like in England, they thought that all the poor people that were were like rioting all the time and causing all these strikes that they thought that they'd be that much worse when the bombing started. Mm-hmm. Magically, all that shit went away and everybody united. Because the, 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 they, they have a common enemy? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the, the 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 same thing was true in Germany when we started bombing these fucking German cities. Those were the most productive cities. The, all of a sudden, they started churning out more for the war effort. When we bombed their cities and killed innocent people, all of a sudden they worked that much harder for the German government. Because yeah, because they they had a so I, yeah. that's why I like I have the, like a glimpse of hope in a, for humanity if we had something like a a, a you know dollar collapse or. Uh, zombie apocalypse kind of situation. Could only hope. Maybe everybody would fucking re like unite and pull together in something like that. Yeah, because you know when they got elected in office, uh, that obviously didn't happen. We got some fucked up people, uh, dude. <laughs> like, wow. the, the dynamics to our Sounds politics good. are no good. Mm-mm. We really need if we could get three or four more parties, our our country would be just as defunct, like dysfunctional. But at least it would be less polarized. Like it's yeah. literally like binary thought of it's either this way or, or that this way. way. That's it. And like if you're this person, then I get to put all these labels on you. The nice thing about some other countries is that they have multiple parties, so they can't be as stupid. Yeah. I mean, I mean, technically, we we 
there are other parties, right? Not really, though. but they're not they're not like so they're not big. They're not predominant. Like not we as, have what not as mainstream. Yeah, honestly, like, it's gotten to the point to where you have people that are representatives of these other parties that they just decide that they're going to go run for the Democratic office or the Republican office. Like Bernie Sanders isn't a fucking Democrat. But that's the only way he can actually get elected. He he spent like 30 fucking plus years as being a registered independent. And then magically he's a Democrat. He's not, his that's the only way he was going to, yeah. His views didn't change. He just I realized, love, <laughs> oh, I can get elected if I say I'm a Democrat. I, I can get a bunch of Democrats to vote for me. I love when he came out and he was like, oh, socialists, uh, you're talking about these countries like Russia and, and, and Cuba. That's not what I'm talking about. No, motherfucker, that, that is exactly what you're talking about. It was so funny. I mean, he did preach about how great Russia and China and Cuba yeah. was for Back in the day. years. Yeah. How for great they years. are. years. Yeah. And then it, when it was came to light, like all the atrocities they made, all of a sudden he just kind of like, switched <sighs> things over to, oh, well, like Denmark and Sweden. And <laughs> yeah, he really did. There's interviews. He's he's caught on video saying it, dude. It was but a you know that you know that doesn't mean shit. Multiple times. That doesn't fucking mean anything. He went to Russia and talked about how great it was there. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I saw the bread lights. It was great. You know what the bread lights mean? Means the people are getting that's, bread. That's <laughs> fucking good. Holy <laughs> shit, that was fucking good. Wow. That in person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do make you do. You have any more of that beer to give him? I need to give him more. Do, uh, do, Bernie, Sanders. One. do Bernie Sanders again. No, I'll be right no, do, no, Bernie, no, no. do Bernie Sanders again. That's, that's my favorite thing. Please do it. No. <laughs> do it. Driving tomorrow, he's gonna. Yeah, that's. I think that. Oh uh, yeah, awesome. I gotta drive to Georgia tomorrow. It'll be, he'll be suck. more personable when he that's, deals with rich you, people. And there I gotta be go. charming when I get there. God, I'm you an intro- are very charming Dude, I'm right such, now. I'm, yeah, I'm you are super drunk. charming. I'm, very I'm charming. An, I'm an introvert. I am not a fucking like. When I first meet you, I'm not very talkative. I have to go be that charming cunt when I uh, when I go there. So we even need more, to drink more. Of a reason. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we just drink, drink and drive. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be okay. And it's fine. Hey guys, picking you up in the airport. <laughs> don't, just don't get caught. Don't get Who caught? wants a beer? Yo, could you imagine? Like, yo, tell me, yo, how much you want to make a bet that they would enjoy that way more than what's gonna happen? Like, hey, who wants a beer? And then he, <laughs> or he comes on. Yeah. And, and, or he comes on. He's like, he's like trying to introduce. Like, he's giving a tour guide. He's like, and they'll be here on our left. We see the Everglades. And they'll be on the right. And he just starts fucking going through with that. That'd be awesome. Is that how you introduce it, though? No, I don't know. Here's I'll... the Everglades. Hello. Let me show you radio fucking talk show. Radio. <laughs> radio 104. No, is that... <laughs> I have a. I can do it if I want to. I think you can. I'm very impressed with that set ability. Turn me around. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the creepy <laughs> shit right there. Creepy. Like, you're not strong enough, master. I don't care. <laughs> I need to see his face. Me? I, <laughs> see? I need, to, I need to see his face. Show me so, Harry yeah. Potter. We've been uh, drinking. A little bit. They've been drinking. Just I, a little bit. I've not who's been, been drinking? Just a little bit. Anyway. Harry who, Potter has. Who, who's been drinking? <sighs> Hillary Fucking Clinton. underage drinkers. Hillary Clinton Ooh, has been caught on water. video. Giggle water. Hee hee hee. She's been caught on video saying Giggle all water. types of horrendous shit. No, nothing happened to her. Giggle so I don't. It's, yeah, I don't think this is going to work for Bernie Sanders called. either. Yeah. What do you, oh yeah, I mean you, the same thing could be said about Trump. Um, sure. Yeah. Grab hey, like, Clinton, talking about fucking uh, Jesus. <laughs> the guy that he got off, or the guy that she got off of um, for like, the like got off the rape. The Edgar. rape. Oh. Yeah. She was oh. like, "Oh, we knew he did it, but we didn't care. We just wanted him to win." <laughs> I'm not gonna. Wow. Try to, I'm not gonna try to disguise how ignorant I am because I, I always forget these. I know it's not Lebanon, but it's either Liberia or um, fuck, what's the other one? There's two countries in Africa: L- Liberia and something else with an L. Bad with geography. Anyways, Libya. N- uh. Yeah. Lebanon, Libya, Lebanese, Leper, Wingenzen, Leper, 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 Fucking Gaddafi. <laughs> Gaddafi was the dictator of this this country for yeah. a great many years. He got, he got raped to death. Fucking Hillary yeah. Clinton talking about Holy it. Shit. We came, yeah. we That's saw. He died. <laughs> yeah, like that's on a fucking interview. She's like, literally Clinton like laughing some crazy about shit yeah. about about a dude that got I'm raped sorry. to death. I'm yes. sorry, guys. We fucking do it too. Come on, <laughs> we laugh about shit. Yeah, like but that. I'm also not I... running for a professional. Well, leadership. okay, like it's not about running for shit. No, it's she just... was in charge of that. Like you realize that? Like she was yeah. in charge. She held up. She she basically helped take down 
a fucking dictator in the name of, oh, we're going to take down a dictator. And now there is open slave markets in that country. You can literally go on your phone and watch human beings be sold as slaves because there's open slaves in that fucking country. How do you know about this? No Joe? accountability. Because he goes down more rabbit holes than no all of us combined. No one gives a fuck. No one cares. That's, that's their country. Fuck it. Donald Trump said he'd grab girls by the pussy. So and that's, that's and where no else? One, that's you, locker room where talk. Where else? Right? No, no, that's, no that's locker can, room talk. No one can let that. That go. was that was locker room talk. That's locker room yeah. talk. When boys are boys, man, we Dude, not talk. only was that like locker room talk. That was celebrity locker room talk. Yeah. Like he was talking about like these bitches just throw their pussies at you. Like you can yeah. grab them by the pussy because they want you to. Like they're fucking. Yeah. Not wanted. that I'm gonna go after every girl I see and grab them by the pussy. Bah. No, that's not how it worked. It's literally locker room talk. He was talking to another he was person. Talking person. about being famous. I was have that, said worse things. Was that Voldemort saying that? Turn me around. <laughs> Grab her, grab her by the pussy. Grab her by the pussy. <laughs> hey. you gotta, Harry Potter. You gotta, you gotta extend it. Grab her by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turned on right now. What's going on? Oh, it's even more fucked up because that, like the first two Harry Potters are like definitely children's films. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very. Turn me around. Grab her by the that pussy. That's a good... Yeah, when well, you're talking about my Bernie Sanders, that's a pretty good Voldemort. <laughs> I've been talking to Voldemort for the last four fucking days. Oh, he admits it. it. He admits it. <laughs> knew it. I know what he sounds we like. Fucking oh, knew. Knew it. <laughs> Don't tell him about me. <laughs> yeah? Damn. I'm uh, wow. So hashtag Voldemort Vold- on the Voldemort. back of the head? No, or? back of the head. Getting head... Getting head by Voldemort? By and Voldemort. Hashtag one, two, fuck. Infection. One, two, fuck. <laughs> Bro, that's exactly how I hate being tricked. I'm a grown-ass man. I hate being tricked. <laughs> I'm a grown-ass man. I'm still being fucking tricked in a goddamn hospital. Best. They've been doing these things since I was three. <laughs> We're going to give you a shot. One, two. I haven't learned my lesson yet. I'm in my fucking 30s. I haven't learned my fucking lesson yet. That shit still got me. One, it's... two. F- uh. yeah, it, yeah, it sucked, man. I'm, I'm not a fan of those. Shots. That's my favorite thing about being an adult is you can really behave how you want now. Like, oh yeah, no one can stop you. Yeah, like no. you can say fuck right now, yeah. okay? But when you're a kid, you can, yeah. well, I mean, you can't cause a scene and get there's, the cops called on you, and then you'll go to jail. Is yeah, there's there's jail. Part of it. <laughs> but like, but you yes, can, but you can fuck with people and they don't see it coming. Yes, like, yes, like, yes. Like the one, two, or here's my penis. Like no, like like you mean ass cheek? Get it, get it. See like, it coming? Like yeah. I should have. Ju- ah. You know what I should have done? I should have just dropped trout all the way, like just right to the end. Oh, Lift that's, up my shirt. And, that's and, alpha, and, alpha move and hold, right there. And hold it by my chin, so it's just bare fucking bones and dick hanging out, and just fucking. All right, I'm ready. I should have done yeah. that. I should. She would have. And, <laughs> and you reach. What was that, what was that voice that she hand. made? What'd she say when oh, you fucking? Dear. No, no. What'd she, what'd she say when you fucking? Look uh, at... Oh, <laughs> she would have been. Oh. Wait, yeah, well, yeah. Put the pants back on. Put your put your pants back on. We don't want to see that. Yeah. So there is one rule. That's oh. what you would just end up doing. Oh. Damn it! Turn me around. <laughs> what the fuck? Just, that's my favorite voice now. I just want to want to keep doing. <laughs> Let me see him. I want to see him. <laughs> That is pretty good. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was I told you guys that confidence. <laughs> my fucking my head hurts, you know. He is, Which one? Uh, my Voldemort's whole... or yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hurtful. I'm trying to I'm it's trying so to hurtful. see if we can get some chow going so I can feed that thing in the back of your head. No, nah, he's dying. I'm Bro, him. We don't need to no, feed him. We got to feed him. I'm killing him. Gotta he feed will him be some, dead. some goodness. It's actually pretty gross looking. So, are we gonna do like a a Democratic twenty twenty episode where we talk about all these fucking awesome people that we're gonna? Oh, vote the for? awesome, the awesome people that we're gonna vote for. <laughs> we yes. should definitely yes, vote for this because this talk. episode isn't political. I mean, this show isn't political enough. We gotta fucking like. I mean, is it though? I think sometimes we go on rants and things that we fully believe behind, but we also talk about you know. Um, Dick titties. Yeah, dick titties. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's the hashtag. The best part is that the fucking picture was a Lisa Simpson running yeah, out of chocolate. <laughs> I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> Breathe through Voldemort's mouth. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> uh, Balls. Oh, okay. Arches. No, it gets worse. All right, next one. Dick titties. I can't oh, see. Yeah, Whatever you just else. did. We have to report a problem. You had something else. We have to report a problem. Whatever that is. Okay. Uh, sugar is just gay salt. 
<laughs> is it gay soil? G- gay salt. salt. Oh. Sugar is just gay salt. All right. I got more. How many, Hold on. What is this? Get off your phone. No, no, no. These are funny. <laughs> Dude, okay. So, um, cum is really just boneless. Ch- oh, that's gross. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. All right. It's getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> We're going um, down so, the wrong hole. <laughs> um, the other week, or last week, however you want to put it, uh, I got a call at about. Six in the morning, and answer the phone. What's going on? Oh, someone tried to break into the shop. So <laughs> I, I say, okay. I get up and dun, 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 uh, D two D two like a champ. Fucking says, what's going on? I say, what's going on? She says, well, do you want me, do you want me to make you coffee? I said, sure. Oh shit! What? Oh shit! So I I have to I work for twelve hours. So. Basically, my 12-hour day just turned into, like, a 14-and-a-half-hour day. I wasn't about to go in there without fucking brushing my teeth and showering. So I took a very fast shower, brushed my fucking teeth, threw clothes on. She had made me coffee, grabbed the fucking coffee, and go. And uh, (laughs) she likes sugar. Jesus Christ. Like, I had to struggle through that fucking thing. Oh, I barely, she, like, stack the fuck out of it I sugar. barely put any sugar. Like, I literally do, like, I, I have a really tiny little stirring teaspoon, and I do, like, half a thing of that. I just love that in you a drink coffee now. Four foot, four cup coffee uh, tumbler. Fuck, mix that in. That's plenty fine. That just, just a tiny amount to cut some of the bitterness out of it. This fucking thing was a goddamn sugar drink. She's a girl. I had to like it's struggle a, she's through a, it. It's she's a, a girl. Drink. I don't know yeah. why. And, and then I had to. Fuck, I just grabbed some old school Folgers and fucking poured myself another one. But, I love that you've been drinking coffee for like six months now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grown ass man just drinking coffee all uh, of a sudden. Hell of a drug, isn't Kauai it? Kauai coffee. Yeah. I highly yes. recommend that. Comes in a blue bag and medium roast Kauai coffee. That's the shit. I I'm so like I don't put extra sugar or anything into my coffee, but I do pour coffee. Creamer, coffee. Yeah, I do. Coffee. I do a little bit of creamer and a little. bit But the bit creamer of sugar. is sweet itself. Yeah, it's yeah. like a. It's yeah. a flavored creamer. I just creamer, put a little bit of that. And creamer I'm done. and then the coffee and then if not, bang. You put bang in your All, coffee? No, I like I put it in the water and then put the coffee in and then make that. It makes it Gross. coffee bang. There's no fucking way and you do this. It's no. I'm really session. trying to figure this I, out. Right I don't. Now. I don't you, think so that you would use work. Bang instead of water. Heat it up. No, it, yes. no. I tried cooking. I tried reducing it down and cooking chicken with it because I usually use like Sprite or like ginger ale. But I didn't have any, like, and I did it with bang. bang. It's whiskey. gross. What's it's gross. Don't do it. Cook, whiskey, cook with whiskey. No, I just do the coffee and then add whiskey. I, I mean, that's normal. Jameson, I, I've done that. I don't do that. It's really work, good. Though. So, as you said, I, I don't know if this is pod mask. Pod pod mask. Jesus, I like it. Fuck you, Funky Buddha. Fuck you, I love that fucking place. Brought to you by Funky Buddha. (laughs) Um, I don't want to get into too many details, but I I... too many details. All right, I like this. Pod mask. Let's do it. Nope. I don't want to get into too many details. (laughs) He's trying to. He's trying to do the Jim Carrey warm up. He's like licking his. Uh, look at his lips and shit. <laughs> you we got listen to Are jaw muscles. Are we good? Are we good now? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay, come on. Unique New York. Unique, Unique New, New York. York. Unique New York. <laughs> uh, what's going on with that dog? Oh, these guys probably don't know about that dog. They don't know what? about the dog. Potentially, what? the Fred's been talked into getting a dog by the entire fucking office staff. Potentially. You such guy, a bitch. A guy comes in. Such a bitch. <laughs> Letting people talk you into shit. You grown ass man. Listen, oh, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Did you ask Voldemort? Did listen. Voldemort approve? He can't. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this story here. A guy comes in. We, uh, well, you don't think we got time? We don't have time to talk about the rest uh, of the story. But if you listen to the next podcast, we'll tell you about this. Is right? we, we fucking listen, say this all the time. Every, every motherfucking time we do a hook, it, we never <laughs> we, talk about it. Never, it. Never fit, all right, there's there's a dog I'll give you a short story. Might happen. So we had this drunk asshole come into the fucking store, and he had a dog with a red X on, a, on his fucking head. And we were yeah, trying to figure out, like a Sharpie, red X. Shh, shh. And we were trying to figure out what the fucking red X is for. Now, right now, <laughs> off of what I just told you, you saw a guy walk in, dog's no leash, he's gonna dog sh- walks in. He's going to shoot it. That's exactly what we all thought. He's going to shoot the fucking dog. We asked him about it. He goes, oh, I'm just stupid. That's all he said. Oh, I'm just stupid. Anyway, the guy's getting really drunk, whatever. We asked him a few times. He's, really he's drinking not, at work? He's not drinking in he's the drinking store. drinking at work? Oh, I was about but to say. He, like, did, he came in drunk. He Good came man. in drunk. Good so man. we asked him to put a leash on the fucking dog. He finally goes outside. He doesn't have a leash. So one of our buddies gives him a leash. 
after giving him a leash, that our buddy call, uh, catches him drinking out of a fucking bottle, like vodka, out what? of his fucking oh, truck. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, so they that's called okay. the cops. The cops came over, and um, and they they parked in front, and the dog's still um, you know, kind of chilling, whatever, around. walking around. Yeah. And uh, they 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 park right behind him, so he can't drive away. And they arrest the guy, put him in the back of the car. He got charged with DUI and something else, disorderly conduct and destruction of and property. destruction of property or something like that. And I think no, that was didn't. I think that was because of the dog. Anyway, um, they were bored, so there was a dog, and they didn't they couldn't do anything. So they were going to get animal control, but you know they're going to put him in the fucking truck in hundred degree weather. Hundred degree weather. So we're like, what truck? no, he'll come inside. Mm-hmm. Patrol vehicle. So I got no the dog. to no. The, to the. The guy's truck. The guy's truck. Uh, Keep him in the guy's truck till the animal control so get there. That's terrible. Yeah. Not so I brought, that's your local PD, though. <laughs> yeah. So I brought, I brought the dog in, or we brought the dog in, and I'm watching it, and everybody's like, Fred, you should get a dog. And I'm like, no, I can't. There's no way I can't do it. Total sweetheart of a dog. Sweetheart. It's at Animal Services, and you can get it for free if it's in Orange County. Yeah. The vet, vets get it for free. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So you're doing that? I already did it. I already went in and got So you work. have it? I have to wait five days. So the guy didn't want to relinquish. Ownership of the dog. He's like, I'm going to get my dog. That's my dog. And he's yelling and cursing and screaming in the back of the cop car. He's being a fucking dickhead. But we, we, I don't know, quick story, but this guy was also fucking yelling at the dog constantly and stepped yes. on the dog like five times. Five times, yeah. Like yeah. he was horrible to that dog. Uh, and he had just rescued the dog. So the lady that, that uh, took the dog, because they called animal control, animal control come, came out. She was fucking awesome. And she was like, you know what? Fuck this asshole! I'm gonna go to the jail and try to talk him into relinquishing his ownership of it. Yeah, and then he didn't do that. So she came back the next fucking day and took statements from my staff mm-hmm. about how much of a piece of shit this guy was. Mm-hmm. So she could. She's see. trying to help us coax the dog into going to us instead of his fucking punk ass. But anyway, after three people telling me over and over again, like we will help you on the weekends, I will take care of the dog. I have maybe, multiple, maybe one of them, and him being one of them. Actually, it was D, and then D that it was D, D first, D two first, then it was D one. Jumping in. Everybody's like, I'll watch your dog over the weekend if you get the dog. And I was like, oh, I've been wanting to get okay. a second dog, but I don't want a second dog because so I need something to entertain well, my What dog. kind of a dog is it? It's a mix. It's a lab mix with a terrier. It's a pit bull mix. Yes. It's the kind of dog that generally goes to the pound and doesn't come they're, out. They're, dude, I went to the pound to, after I filled the paperwork. I already put the application in. I'm just waiting. Yeah. Man, they're all pits. Heart wrenching, and almost all of them are gonna die. Man, they're all gonna die. They're all no pits. one will fucking been to a lot. Yeah, of them. because they're they're all fucking puppies. Uh, any other kind of do- huskies adopted, adopted yes. immediately. But dude, the all because the fucking of because pits. Insurance, of insurance, because of of yeah, how because the, the of insurance companies, because of apartment buildings, bad rep on pits, bad rep too. on pits. Well, and you know they're gonna lo- kill the breed. The breed's a, gonna die. A lot of them are fighting dogs that aren't good for fighting, so people just fucking let them go. Dude, there's two pounds. One of them didn't have this, but the other pound had on the fucking side um, reasons for ownership of owners dropping them off. And I was getting angry and angrier and angrier yeah. every time I walked down. One of them says allergic to dogs. Yep. The dog's fucking ten years old. Yeah, the dog's fucking ten years old, and you're allergic to the fucking dog. Fuck you. They just got oh, this dog's old. I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, that's fucking sad. It's, Let the dog dude, die in the house, man. D two took me to the same place you went to, Ugh. and she was like, "Well, let's just go look," because we had to go. It's to, so hard, man. I and, took pictures of that dog, by the way. And so I go through and I find a dog that's almost fucking exactly what she is described as a dog that she wanted, and it's a dog that was dropped off by its owner, and it's two and a half years old. Mm. Reasons, allergies. Allergies. And this dog is good as fuck. We go take it outside, immediately goes and pisses because it's been holding it the whole fucking time it's been in its cage. Because they have this, like, fake grass area for the play area. Mm-hmm. So it finally felt like it was outside so it could pee. And then, like, it, it sat, it did everything, and I, like, like, okay, well, you wanted to come look at dogs, this is the fucking dog you get. And she's like, well, it's not the breed I want. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not the breed you want. Like, you yeah. don't go to the pound looking for a breed. You go there to save a fucking soul. Yes. Like, I, that one still fucks with me. The only thing that I'm okay with now is that it's not there anymore. And it, it hasn't been long enough to where it would have been put down. No, because 60 Someone days, else, 60 days, there's dogs yeah. that have been there for 60 days. And it, they have, it yeah. had only been there for about five days, and it would have been 10 days since then. So it got adopted. I don't have to worry about it. Someone else gave it a good home. But 
God, that fucks with me. So yeah. go to your local pounds and adopt some fucking, fucking dogs. Adopt Please, some yeah. goddamn dogs. Ado- Stay adopt adopt the dogs, dogs, man. Don't don't animals. don't go to breeders, man. Adopt dogs. They're some of the best dogs, man. They're so happy. They, they have a personality. They have a soul. They're so happy. When you get them, these dogs are like, oh my god, you just saved my life, and yeah. they will be your fucking pal for the rest of your life. But anyway, that is all we have tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the Covert Standard. I've got Bad Karma Live. Hi. Cabal USA. Ooh. Don't forget to go to cabalusa.co and check out all of his holsters and gear. And I have clear malfunction. Psh. I like the segue. Psh. Psh. That's what I get. Red lights. I am Feed the Nitro free. Panda. Red lights are a good thing because am. that means that these people are getting fed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I am Voltamont on the back of Freddy's head. This is Covert Standard. Love you guys. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. So we work it out. Yeah. Bro, that was the worst podcast ever. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely <laughs> fucking. Hey, uh, uh, we gotta get him more fucking. <laughs> this, this guy was fucking. It was the fucking. Uh, I love it.